How's it walkers and fanboys friends? Dave here with another short care collab video for you guys. So today I'm focusing on this beauty over here, the Vandica Stylus Loose Sneery. Stay tuned if you would like to know how I'm growing my beautiful orchid. So we have a number of participating channels in this care collab and I'll insert them in the image over here right now. Please don't forget to check out those channels and see how they are growing their orchids in their unique environments. The Care Collab videos are a fun series run by Nina from Ninja Orchids where a number of us from around the world collaborate and show you the care requirements for the same orchids in different environments around the world. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This orchid has been in my collection for quite a number of years. I received this orchid around May 2018 from Plante Orchids and the orchid's done absolutely well since then. I've received two bloomings from this one. The orchid usually blooms around the summer. As you can see over here, I have the orchid bare root with a little bit of sphagnum moss in the basket. So I've tried to acclimatize this orchid to the outdoors, so in the garden, and it's been doing pretty well. It's been there for about a year now. It's been transitioned uh, along with my Ancilia africana and my Rinca stylus celestis. I must say that I find the orchid extremely easy to care for. It seems to be those two Vanda types, the Vanda falcata and the Rinco stylus celestis, a cross between those two, and I find those specific species pretty easy to care for. So it is no surprise that the hybrid would obviously be easy to care for as well. Offhand, I can't remember if the orchid is scented. You can obviously check what the other growers say about that. I think it may have been, but I might be mistaken. Unfortunately, this year she put out a beautiful spike for me and I tried to get it into one of the bloom videos and I just missed it by a few days. When the cold snap came in winter, all the blooms dropped. So obviously acclimatizing an orchid to the outdoors, you have to bear in mind that it's exposed to the elements. So when the cold comes, the cold comes, the flowers go. <laughs> One thing I'm pretty amazed about this orchid is look at that root system. So it's extensive and very, very happy in this setup. There are quite a few roots inside the pot as well. I really, really love this, this look. <laughs> So in terms of general care, watering, I currently do not water this orchid through the winter period. I rely on the rain to do that for me. In the late spring to summer, that's when I actually start to water the orchid through to the autumn. And I basically just water the orchid with my normal watering regime. Whenever I water the other orchids in the greenhouse, this one will also get water in the summer. In terms of fertilizer, I do my usual weekly weekly, although I do tend in summer to sometimes up the fertilizer a little bit for the vandaceous orchids. And this one will also get some extra fertilizer around that period. Light requirements. So these orchids can take up to bright cattleya light. Generally in my conditions where the orchid is situated, it gets lower ambient light during the day. While in late spring and in summer, this one will receive about two hours of direct sunlight. So that seems to compensate um, and obviously allow it to still put out a beautiful bloom display. You'll see I put out a video last year about lower light Brinker stylus orchids. This was obviously also showcased in that video. I tend to find both the Falcata and the Rinca stylus and its hybrids to generally do okay with lower light conditions. So basically the same as for the African orchids and for the Miltoniopsis orchids. So this would obviously be higher than the Phalaenopsis orchids. The blooms are really, really pretty. I will insert some images right now of the bloom displays that I've had with this orchid. They have the characteristic Van der Falkata type of shape to them, a bit more rounded out, with beautiful pink, um, deep pink markings like the Rinco Stylus Celestis. So if you're looking for a really easy orchid, one that can potentially grow outdoors in temperate Mediterranean type climates, then this is the one for you to go and you can even keep them bare rooted just obviously make sure that you have something in the basket just to give them a little bit more hydrated during the summer period if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe for more content such as this thank you guys for watching keep well stay safe and don't forget to check out the other videos bye